Thank you, Dave. 10 degrees right now. The airport 734, as you mentioned. Good morning, everyone. Mayor Nothead Nechi wants to lower the taxes you pay next year. Even though the city of Calgary is facing a 30 to $40 million shortfall, the mayor and city manager say savings can be found. The property tax increase for 2016 is supposed to be roughly 4.7%. But Mayor Nenshi is looking at lowering it to about 3.5%. We have been remarkably successful in finding savings in the account over the course of this year uh, that should allow us to mitigate that. And I have asked the city manager and the chief financial officer to give me a scenario that actually goes the other way. Instead of going from $6.50 a month to $7.50 a month, to give us something that looks more like $5.50 a month. Uh, and we'll be, I look forward to having that discussion with Council at the end of September. Earlier this week, City Council agreed to move up budget deliberations from November to, as you heard, September. Prime Minister Stephen Harper poised to fire the starting pistol for the October 19th federal election, maybe as early as this Sunday. Sources say the PM is set to visit the Governor General within days, possibly as soon as this weekend, to formally dissolve Parliament and launch what will be the most expensive and, at 11 weeks, one of the longest election campaigns in Canadian history. Only the first two election campaigns after Confederation were longer, 81 days in 1867 and 96 days in 1872. But in those early days, voting was staggered across the country over a period of several months, necessarily extending the length of campaigns. Since then, the longest campaign was 74 days way back in 1926. Since then as well, the longest campaign as well was not near as expensive as this one could possibly be. It's now 7.36. The 58-year-old man accused in the hit-and-run death of a Calgary woman this week is out on bail this morning. Robert Mark Varley is his name. He is the man charged in connection with the death of this woman, 33-year-old Farida Abdurrahman. Farida was hit and killed while walking home Monday night after work. She was struck by a car in a marked crosswalk at Center Street North and 43rd Avenue. The driver took off, leaving Farida for dead. Debris recovered at the scene helped police identify and find the vehicle involved that was parked a short distance away at the home of the accused. Initially, he was evasive to questioning by police, but he later did uh, admit his involvement in the collision. He certainly would have known that he struck a pedestrian. Whether or not he could see her, that's still under investigation. There is now a petition circulating in the neighborhood here asking City Hall to install a pedestrian crosswalk safety light where the collision happened. The police traffic unit, by the way, makes to make, or plans to make recommendations to the city on how this particular crosswalk can be made safer. A new 12 and a half hectare urban park opens in our city tomorrow, complete with a beach, a tobogganing hill, picnic areas, and a children's play park. This is the transformation of St. Patrick's Island. You're seeing video of some of the highlights here, located between between East Village and Bridgeland. Over the past 30 months or so, the island has been a beehive of construction and rejuvenation with thousands of new bushes and trees planted as well. The new urban park does have something for everyone. The park really is sort of just, you know, this uh, open space and natural amenity that exists really within uh, what is otherwise a very urban context downtown. Um, it's 31 acres, almost right downtown Calgary in the middle of the river. So yeah, it's definitely a, a bit of a, a hidden gem. The park officially opens tomorrow. So much is already planned for the month of August, by the way. Movie nights, a CrossFit class, children's story time, concerts, even a fly fishing workshop.